Okay, getting back into the studio. Have to do this really quick unboxing. Unfortunately, I missed the official release. I was in Vegas for my bachelor party, but it's here. This is a limited edition console, which I used to do a ton more of uh, when I started the channel, but since The Legend of Zelda is my favorite video game franchise of all time, Link, my little doggo. Oh. Link, what do you think of this? Link, what do you think of this game? Oh, you just want the treat. Oh, you're just wrapping the little arm around. Oh. And I actually got to uh, partner with Nintendo to check out the game a bit early and I got to do some gameplay, which we'll get to. I also saw this console, but obviously I had to do an unboxing of my own. I have it here in the flesh. So Tears of the Kingdom, technically a new game, but it looks very similar to Breath of the Wild, which is maybe my second favorite Zelda game. First still has to go to uh, Majora's Mask. Um, like I said, I'll get to that in a second, but here are the little Joy-Con controllers. They are wrapped in gold and white. Those are looking really good and fresh. So the actual console itself is a Switch OLED. I typically play in docked mode, so I don't get that extra benefit of the better screen, but if you are a handheld player, definitely the OLED is the way to go. And you can see the ruins slash glyphs on that circular pattern on the back in matte black. Inside the rest of the box, just the uh, typical Nintendo stuff. You've got a USB-C cable, HDMI cable, but the docking system, so here it is. It's in a nice glossy white finish with some gold markings, those same circles, except they're in gold. And of course, uh, you've got the Triforce in the middle. You've got some other cool glyphs, of course, some writing on the side in gold. And on the back, it's in matte white with hints of gold on the back. So when your switch is docked, so let me just connect uh, these little uh, controllers here. I think uh, the ultimate badass play is if you had the console fully docked and you were just playing on another controller, just to see this fully docked. I think it looks so slick. So of course you've got the white with the gold Joy-Con down the outside for some really nice contrast. And um, I am a sucker for all things uh, Zelda related. So this is definitely right up my alley. And for my initial gameplay when I was in New York, I know that I threw up uh, a quick little reels or shorts on my experience. So Link technically has uh, four new abilities and they're based around this new area that you can explore. Obviously, uh, Tears of the Kingdom is set still in Hyrule. That's the main area on the ground, but there's also these sky islands that kind of flow around over top. So you kind of switch between them. His first ability is Fuse, which really revolves around combining weapons with not only other weapons, but things that you uh, find or interact with in Hyrule. So for example, you can combine a sword with a Bokoblin Fang. I was combining my arrows with oars, which kind of gave it a elemental effect. You can stack two swords or two axes on top of each other to increase their durability, to uh, make them more powerful. So it's really endless uh, in that regard. I'm pretty stoked to start combining more weapons. Obviously, I was just playing through the initial stages, but his next ability, which I really think will take the game to a new level in terms of uh, creativity, is called Ultra Hand. And from there, you can create these uh, craftable materials. I was initially just slapping rockets onto every platform to create these uh, boostable rocket ships that kind of hop me around the different uh, island platforms. But you can also make things like boats, like planes with actual uh, handheld controls. And I think uh, two, three years down the line, we'll still see new ways on how people are implementing Ultra Hand. I love that creativity. Obviously, uh, Breath of the Wild has been out now for what, four, five years? People are still finding new things, and I think that will be the very same thing for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Third ability, Ascend. So essentially just kind of say goodbye to climbing, which you can still do. Any platform above your head, you can ascend through, and then you'll have the ability to kind of see if enemies are around. If it's safe, you can pop up. If not, you can just kind of I guess, descend back down. And ability number four is called recall. And from this, you can send specific objects back in time. So say uh, you sent your little platform with rockets through space from point A to point B, say you're on it, you can actually send that back in time when you're off it. That's something that I wanted to test uh, a bit more in depth. I think that'll be really handy for solving a lot of puzzle things in uh, dungeons, but definitely will stick 300, I'm probably guessing 350 hours minimum into this game. My overall thoughts on uh, the gameplay, it was good. It really reminded me of uh, Breath of the Wild, which isn't a bad thing. And the game almost felt like a bit of an expansion, which once again, don't get me wrong, that's not a terrible thing, but we're still kind of limited to the hardware of the Switch, which is still playing at the same frame rates. Obviously nothing crazy like 4K 120, and until Nintendo moves into a new console, which I'm still kind of hoping for, but. I I doubt it since this game just came out by the end of the year, that probably won't happen. Um, you're still kind of limited to what you can do on the Switch, but definitely 
pick this game up. Like if you are a remote Zelda fan, I said for the Switch, even two, three years in, if you didn't fall in love with any game, the console was still worth getting for Breath of the Wild. The console is still worth getting for now Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. You just have two of probably the best games of all time being released. I'm kind of calling that now early. Nintendo does such a good job with their Zelda series and now that it's kind of free roam, open world concept where you can kind of just do your own thing. I cannot wait to dive deeper into the world of Hyrule. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. I hope you guys enjoyed your very first look at this dope limited edition console. I have so much fun doing these because um, yeah, I think I need to do them more. I'll catch the rest of you um, in one of your next episodes and let me know what uh, games you currently play on Switch. Peace.